films even after losing a box After a five mile walk around town I never smell your socks You hid movies from your folks And your mom hid them from your grandma And a lot of the time that we hang out You record it with your camera Always have the strength to forgive When I hit you in the eye You eat Chinese ramen nachos Fish even pizza pie Standing tall with curly hair Leather jacket wrapped Oh look here he comes The Million Film Almanac Bobbly 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 Bellissimo Hi, and welcome to Terribly Fun Film. Today, we have a nerd show and tell for you. We have a lot to get through today, so we're getting straight into this nerd show and tell. As always, non-movie items first. First up, we have two soundtracks. Disney Pixar's Coco, which was a full-on musical. I wasn't expecting it, and the soundtrack is amazing. Then we have the soundtrack to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which, of course, it's awesome. Yeah. And that is the Funko Pop from The Bride of Chucky. This is the titular Bride of Chucky, Tiffany. And now we're going straight into the movies. It's a mix of DVDs and Blu-rays in alphabetical order. First up is the movie 100 Degrees Below Zero. This is not the Asylum film. This movie got released by Mar Vista Entertainment earlier this year and was originally known as Cold Zone and I kind of wish they kept that title. I think it's a better, more accurate title. This was a lot of fun. Next we have the Blu-ray, The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T, which is a Dr. Seuss musical. Um, by which I mean he wrote it. Next we have the DVD for 2307 Winter's Dream. And um, it's this weird, intense sort of post-apocalyptic movie in which vestiges of humanity have survived in like underground bunkers from the Arctic cold that took over. And then robots we built run amok. It's actually kind of cool. A little slow to start, but once it gets going, it's really cool. We have the Blu-ray for an adventure in space and time. This is the BBC movie based on the production history of the first Doctor Who series. The, like, the first episode. It's about the making of the trouble the producer had, the trouble the director had trying to get the right actor, things like that, and it was shockingly excellent. We have the DVD for the cast of Van Dien starring All About the Money, which is certainly weird. It sticks to a very specific kind of tone for its comedy. They appreciate that, and it's very watchable. It's just very odd with an amazing end. We have the DVD for the film Ancient Evil, Scream of the Mummy. This is a David DeCocteau film. I never know if I'm saying his name right. And um, there is a sequel called Ancient Evil 2, A Guardian of the Underworld, which I've owned for a while. It's kind of hard to find sometimes. So when I found it for a really cheap price, I had to pick it up. Next, we have the Blu-ray for Beverly Hills Cop. This is the first one. We have the DVD for The Black Dahlia Haunting. I love the mystery surrounding the Black Dahlia and never knowing who it was and stuff. L.A. Noir used that to a really interesting effect. So I'm excited to watch this and see what they do with that. Up next is Boyka Undisputed 4 on Blu-ray. I haven't seen this yet, but it does follow the character of Boyka from Undisputed 3 and once again, Scott Atkins is that character, so I'm totally on board. Next is the 25th anniversary Blu-ray for Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie, not the show. Next is the DVD for the movie Bunny and the Bull from the director of the show Mighty Boosh. It was like $2 and sounded awesome. Next is the Andrew Jones directed Cabin 28, which 
is it a bad little home invasion thriller based on the same supposed true story The Strangers was, but for some reason, despite being a wholly British production, these British companies based somewhere in the UK, the hire British actors, they attempt American accent, and two of them do just fine. The majority of the cast fails hard on that level, though, making it a bit frustrating at times, because I actually like a lot about this film outside of that. The next four films are all interrelated, and it'll make sense in just a moment. Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, Bride of Chucky, and Seed of Chucky. Uh, I am on this thing called Swap a DVD, in which you put up DVDs, you're trying to get rid of, people are trying to put up put up DVDs they're trying to get rid of and just swap them with each other uh it's real simple and that's how I got all of them next is the DVD for the odd man comedy Chances Are starring Robert Downey Jr. next is the deluxe special edition for a Christmas Carol starring Alistair Sin this is generally considered the best version of this story on film and I've never seen it, and I got it for like five bucks, so it's worth checking out for that. Next is the weird performance piece, I guess. It's not totally a movie, it's not really a concert film, but it's Christmas Dreams, a musical adventure, the little drummer boy meets the Nutcracker, and it's basically a series of Christmas-based dances. Uh, set loosely to a story. If you guys saw the Turkey Slay movie World's Away, that's the closest thing I can think of that resembles it. And now we have the Patrick Muldoon starring movie Christmas Town. This film is actually a few years old, but it just got released on uh, DVD, at least here in North America, uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, by this point, it actually might have been like a month ago. Uh, and that is the sci-fi channel film of Dead Still with Ben Browder. Um, this was awesome. I really loved this. Another Patrick Muldoon movie. This one also has Tori Spelling, and that is Deadly Pursuit. We come to another series of films. This one might require some explanation after turning them off. The Dog Who Saved Christmas. The Dog Who Saved Christmas Vacation. And the third one is The Dog Who Saves the Holiday. Catherine Dean is in the second one, though. Uh, and of course, I'm going to own all Catherine Dean movies, so I had to pick that up. I was able to get a box set of all of them for very cheap. So, I own all of them. I don't know if I need to see the first one to make the second one with Catherine Dean make sense. We'll find out. I have a DVD that shouldn't actually exist. And that is Roger Corman's The Fantastic Four. This is the unreleased movie that a friend of mine burned onto a disc for my YouTube uh, channel hosting it for me. I have the Blu-ray for Fright Night 2 New Blood. We have the Asylum movie Geo Disaster, which took a while to actually hit DVD for some reason. I have the Blu-ray for Get Out. This is one of my favorite films of 2017. This movie was amazing. I have the DVD for a Goofy movie, which holds up fairly well. I actually haven't watched this movie yet, but it was $5 because for some reason Best Buy and some other stores started doing this Black Friday deal on Tuesday before Black Friday. So I picked this up, and if I don't like it, it was 5 bucks. I can trade it in and get roughly that same amount. That's The Great Wall with Matt Damon. Next, we have the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for The Hitman's Bodyguard, which was way better than I thought it was going to be. We have the Nordic fantasy Christmas movie, Journey to the Christmas Star. This next movie, I know nothing about aside from its cast and the fact that it was directed by William H. Macy. Layover. Next, we have the Blu-ray for a League of Their Own. Now we have the Blu-ray for Logan. This is the special 3 disc edition that has the noir version on there as well. 
And, yeah, that does mean I actually owed an X-Men movie not named Dead Cold Map. Shocking, I realize. And we have the DVD for the Asylum Christmas movie, Love at the Christmas Table. We have the DVD for the Thunder Levine written movie, Mind Blown, which got released to very little fanfare, which is kind of surprising given how kind of awesome this movie was. We have the Blu-ray for a movie I already have reviewed up, and that is Mother Krampus. We have the two-pack Blu-ray of Mr. Sardonicus and the Brotherhood of Satan. We have the Blu-ray for Moon, Guardian of the Moon, which is gorgeous and awesome, and I recommend everybody to check it out. We have the Blu-ray for the gorgeous-looking movie, Nerve. We have the DVD for the version of the Nutcracker I grew up watching, which proved very hard to find. I guess it got re-released this year, because it was very hard and was a lot of money last year. I don't know why that is, but that's, of course, George Valentine's Nutcracker with Macaulay Culkin. They have the movie On Occasional Hell. Those of you who've been following Terribly Fun Films since its inception will know I already reviewed this. I borrowed a copy from my friend who owned it solely because Jump Little Children have a three minute roll in the film. It might be less than three minutes to be honest. I finally found this on DVD because it is hard to track down. I have the Blu-ray 3 pack of all the Resident Evil CGI movies. Resident Evil, Damnation, Degeneration, and Vendetta. I have the Blu-ray for a movie I haven't actually seen, which will surprise everybody once they see what it is. Run All Night with Liam Neeson. I've been waiting for a long time to pick this movie up because I kept hearing that a Blu-ray should be released, and it never happened. I still haven't heard of a Blu-ray getting released for this. So I finally bit the bullet and got it, and that's Sinbad the Fifth Voyage, which is from writer-director Shaheen Sean Solomon. He also stars as Sinbad. And, um, I really enjoyed this film. It's a real interesting love letter to Ray Harryhausen type adventure film from the 50s and 60s. This next movie is a Hallmark miniseries that says on the back is in the tradition of Merlin and Dinotopia, my two favorite miniseries of all time, so I thought I'd give it a look. That is the Snow Queen. And now we have the hopefully cheesy fun film Storm Tracker starring Luke Perry. We have the Blu-ray for Straight Outta Compton. We have the DVD for the new Kevin Sorbo movie This Old Machine. We have the Blu-ray for the best so bad it's good movie I've seen in theaters all year, Underworld. Blood Wars. We have the Blu-ray for a movie that does not live up to its title. Unforgettable with Captain Heigl and Rosario Dawson. I do collect all Captain Heigl movies and I was able to get this for like $5.99. Again, they started their Black Friday deals early. So I picked this up. It's not awful. It's just not good. We have the Best Buy exclusive steelbook of Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. You also really need to check out the back of that one. I have the DVD for the second Kevin Sorbo Walking Tall movie, Walking Tall Lone Justice. And finally, I have the Blu-ray for an odd Gylo inspired remake of House of Wax slash Mysteries of the Wax Museum. And that is the Dario Argento and Lucy Fulci produced Wax Mask, which we'll be getting a full review later on. And that's everything. That's it for now. The next one I'm going to record will probably be Christmas, so bear that in mind. As always, thank you for watching. I've been your host, Bobby, and I'll see you next time.